Hey guys. Um, oh wow. Um, I just unmounted my SIM card and it, it's been telling me I've only had like 13 minutes and 6 minutes to make, like, make videos today. And right now it says I have 53 minutes and 22 seconds. Holy fuck. Um, today, right now, I'm going to make a little story time video about the time that a friend and I snuck out and, um, oh, we didn't, uh, I'll get there. Um, that we snuck out and we went swimming with some boys and we weren't supposed to be there. Okay, so we were 17 um, and um, my friend lives in another county and it's about a 45 minute drive and you know we were 17 we didn't just have like the free will to just drive wherever we wanted to and um, so one of our friends in the county that I live in, I was at her house. Um, one of our friends in the town that I live in texted us and was like, hey, why don't you and Cassie come up and go swimming? And we were like, yeah, sure, who's, who's gonna be there? And two of his friends were coming here, comes Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, girl, go away. Go, nope. Um, so, Two of his friends were going to go, which was fine. And, um, you see her? She's nosy. Um, sorry. Um, you need to go, little girl. You need to go. Um, so they call. <laughs> you just have to deal with it. Um, so we're like, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll go. So, she lived with her grandma at the time, and so we asked grandma, and she was like, no, but if you really want to, you can ask your mom, who lived like a couple blocks away with her husband. Um, so, we were like, hey, can we go swimming with these friends? And it was like, it wasn't late, it was, I don't even think it was dark yet, it was like six or seven, so it would have been dark by the time we got there, I think. Um, because where they wanted us to go was like more than an hour drive. And we had to get permission first and like, you know, explain every little detail to grandma and her mom for both of them to tell us no. Her mom said, absolutely not, it is too late. You're not going night swimming with some boys that I don't know, that you don't know. And um, then we talked her into it. And she was like, she was like, okay, but I wanna talk to Cassie's dad. So what we did was, um, one of, um, the guy, let's call him, uh, let's call him Mel. One of Mel's friends, his name was Brian. Um, Mel was like, okay, well, we'll just have your friend's mom call Brian and Brian can pretend to be your dad and say that it's okay. So we were like, sure, whatever. So we, we get it going. And, um, I don't think we just flat out said we were going to go to a swimming hole. I think we said we were going to, um, I hope they don't start barking. We were going to go swimming at Brian's house. So whenever her mom calls Brian, his voicemail, read hey or said you've reached Brian leave me a message and her mom texted us and it didn't really dawn on us um she said well who's Brian and we were like oh that's the guy that we we're going to go swimming at his house that, that's his name and she said you gave me his number you're not fucking going and we were like shit okay so so we we tell Mel and we're like Hey, Brian didn't change his voicemail, so her mom knew that he that she wasn't talking to my dad. So he was just like, oh man, whatever. So we just like, we just let it go. And we were trying to think of just ways to still be able to go. And like, we tried pleading with grandma because she lived with her grandma. We tried pleading with her and just begging. And I don't think either one of us cried, but we were just like, oh my God, please grandma, let us go. Please, please, please. No, she wasn't having it because she's like, if your mom says you can go, 
you can go. And we ruined that one. So everybody's like, no, you're not going. And um, so we're just like, fine, whatever. So we let a few, we let a little bit of time pass. And we're like, we want to go. We're going to go. So we, um, so we tell grandma, hey, we're going to go stay at my, or my friend tells her grandma, hey, we're going to go stay at Michelle's house. And, um, we're just going to hang out, just watch the movies. We're just, just going to hang out, you know, no big deal. And grandma's like, okay, go. And Allie and I are in her bedroom and we're like, we're still going to go. We're going to go swimming. And I was like, you need to let Michelle know that we are saying that we're staying at her house just in case grandma decides to call her or go to her house. And she says, no, grandma's tired. She's going to go to bed. I know you're watching. You should have called Michelle. You should have. And she didn't call Michelle. Michelle had no idea. So we get to where we're going. And because it was okay for us to go to Michelle's house. We didn't go to Michelle's house. I don't even know who Michelle, I've never even met her. And um, Michelle is a fake name. And so I'm like, okay, so whatever. So we go, we meet up with our friends and with Mel and Brian and Brian's friend, Nick. And so Brian and Nick are 20. Mel is our age. He may have been 18 at the time, but we, we all were in the same grade. And Allie and I were 17. I'm only mentioning her name because as soon as I'm done with this, I'm sending it to her for her approval. So, um, so we go. And where we went swimming at was, um, it was just out of back road. And, um, the way you get in if you keep going down that this little dirt gravel road, you'll go to somebody's house. And that person was never very nice to anybody. And he ran people off a lot. So we didn't go, we didn't go that far. But whenever you drive, you drive for a little bit and then there's like a little creek and then over to the, to the left of the creek was a big, big body of water. And that's where we would all swim. And I believe there's a little bit of a rope swing up on the hill. And so we stayed on the first part of the of the creek water hole and remember we told her mom that we were going to go swimming at brian's house remember that yeah brian so so we're just out there we're swimming we're having a good time and uh we were out there for hours and um Allie or i won we needed to pee so we went to the her car was in front because it was just like a really narrow like barely even one car could fit down this road narrow so it was um brian and nick's car was the closest to the water and then mel's and then Allie's, and because we were the last ones to get there so our car was first so we go to we're in front of her front bumper because you know we don't want these boys that we don't know to watch us pee and um then we decide to look in the car and check our phones i don't i don't even think i had a phone at the time i think it was just her and um i had mine taken away because i did shit like this a lot i didn't tell anybody where i was going and i would just go and i would get in trouble um so we check it and her grandma and her mom blew up her phone because grandma went to Michelle's house and guess who wasn't there I'll wait me and Allie we weren't at Michelle's house because we that's not where we were going to go Michelle had no idea because Allie didn't text Michelle and be like hey cover for us no grandma's not going to go out grandma's tired no she went and we weren't there so grandma and her mom start texting us screaming at us get your asses back here and we're just like fuck and those texts were sent at least one hour before we read them and this is like late and i think it was like 2 a.m whenever we finally got back there so not 
Okay, so we told her mom that we were going to go swimming at Brian's house in his own pool. Okay. His own pool does not include mud. Okay. It doesn't involve the her vehicle getting covered in mud. Brian lives on the same street that my dad lives. So this house that I'm in right now is just right up the street from Brian's house. He doesn't live there now, but it's his mom's house. So, so we're just like, meh, okay. So we're like, fuck, we gotta get home. So we jump in the car. We tell the boys, we're like, we're in trouble. Bye. And we jump in and we drive. I drive. I drove her car back. Um, because she was really tired. She couldn't, she couldn't focus on the road. And, um, I, I didn't want to focus on the road either, but we had to get home. It was really late. And I'm covered up to my shins, my knees, in, in mud. And we go in at Grandma's house, and whenever you walk in, there's like a little front room. And then there's like an itty-bitty hallway, and Allie's bedroom was on the the far side of it, and then the bathroom was on this side. And she we go in her bedroom, and she says, you sit here on the bed. You don't move. You don't talk. I'll come back whenever we're done. And I was like, okay, sure. I'm covered in mud. So down another little hallway, and to the right was the kitchen. That's where Grandma was. She was washing dishes. She was mad. She was so mad. And so she starts questioning Allie. I'm assuming, because I wasn't in there. And Allie's, I know she's trying to cover for us. <laughs> we would have got a, we would have gotten in less trouble. Okay, because right now, they don't know that we went to a water hole. They think that we went to this dude's house. On top of thinking that we went to Michelle's. So, I decide, oh, my legs are really dirty. I wonder where Allie is. I wonder what's going on. So, being the dumbass that I am, walk down the hall to the kitchen, and I just stand there in the doorway. And... Grandma looks at me and says, what? Why are you dirty? Why are you covered in mud? And um, then she looks at Allie and says, or she was talking and she's like, where did you even go? You didn't go to his house. You couldn't have. She's covered in mud. And, or something of that variation. And we're just like, I was like, I got us caught and Allie was so mad at me oh my lord she was so mad so we just go to bed grandma wasn't the type to yell I'm sure she has yelled at Allie but she was just like one of those scary grandmas where if she was really quiet you needed to run and run fast and run far and so so we just, you know, we go to sleep, we get up the next day. And I was only staying at her house. I had an appointment the next day for something. And it was closer, my stepmom, my mom, from where we, from this house to where she works is like a good hour, hour and 15 minutes. And my appointment wasn't until like mid morning or something. And she goes in at like 6 a.m., bless her heart. So she would drive all the way there and it made more sense for me to go to Allie's house the day before stay the night there and my mom go to work leave work in the middle of the day come get me from Allie's take me to my doctor's woman take me back to Allie's go back to work come back and get me after work instead of going from my town to her work to my town to Charleston to my town to her work and then back home that was just way too much so this was a good way to just like eliminate a lot of driving was for me to go to Allie's and I loved it and her mom was so mad the next day. Allie's mom was so mad the next day. While I'm sitting beside my mother in this doctor's office, I don't remember. I think it was a dentist's office. I don't remember. We're sitting there, and Allie's mom calls my mom. And she's like, I want you all to know that they snuck out, and they, they went places they weren't supposed to be, and they went all the way back to where Cassie lives, and... 
they hung out with some boys and blah 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 and the worst part of it is is they tried to fake Brian being Cassie's dad to get the okay for her to go and my mom just laughed she was mad she's like oh, I'll let her dad know I'll let her dad know and so we go home and my dad he's a construction worker so he would work um like he would leave Sunday evenings and come home Friday evenings or Saturday evenings and he'd be gone all week for work because it was too far of a drive for him to come home every day. And that's what he did. And my mom was leaving for, she was like leaving me the house for like a day, day and a half, something like that. She was going out of town with some friends. So, was it just a day, day and a half? She was leaving. She was going out of town. She was going to another state. And my dad was still at work. So she left and she was just like, we'll deal with this later. Like, you're in trouble, we'll deal with it later though because I gotta go. And your dad's not home. And I was like, meh, okay. So, Allie, poor thing. <laughs> she's, I think she's still pretty mad about this to this day. And I'm sure she'll tell me whenever she watches this. She got her vehicle taken away. She was not allowed to move... I think she still had her keys. She was just not allowed to drive, which is worse than having your keys. Like, if you don't have the keys to your vehicle, you know you can't touch it. There's nothing you can do unless you can hotwire it, and she wasn't about to try that because her mom would have killed her. But, um, so she kept her keys. She just wasn't allowed to move it, which was so much more aggravating because, like, I have this power to go move this vehicle, but I can't. You know, like, I would rather just have something completely taken away from me instead of, like, being able to see it and being like, oh, I can't even use that. So, she gets her vehicle taken away. My parents, or my mom, went out of town. And I think the day she left, a friend, another friend of mine at the time had texted me and was like, hey, I have this really cute little dog that needs a home. And I was like, bring it. Give it to me. I want this dog. It was a little bitty, bitty dog. He was like this big. I named him Rex. I loved Rex. He was so cute. And I would have been able to keep him if he were not a boy dog. My mom doesn't like boy dogs because they spray everything. Um. So we get in trouble. And Allie gets the worst of it. She gets the brunt. And between her mom and my dad, they're about both the same strict, the level of strictness. And, but we both just did a lot of really dumb shit when we were. We don't do it anymore because now we can go to jail. <laughs> but, um, or, you know, we can get in a lot more trouble. We have to, like, deal with it ourselves instead of being like, hey, you're grounded. It's just like... Here's these charges against you. And we're not about that. And um, so um, she gets her car taken away for a long time. I get a dog. She was so mad when I sent her a picture of, I did have a phone. I had a little itty bitty shitty phone. Like the, it slid up and I had like the like one through nine keypad on the front and then I could slide it up. And I had the, like the keyboard here it was really old whenever I even had it. So, I got a dog. She got her car taken away. She was pissed. I laughed. I still laugh. She still gets mad. I'm like, hey, remember that time you got your car taken away and I got a dog? Ha 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 ha. And she's just like, shut up. So, so thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to send this to Allie to get her approval since I have just like blatantly said her name for the internet and um please subscribe i did it the other day where i was like subscribe is over here yeah over here and the like is over it's backwards from whatever i did because this actually flips and so just remember to like and subscribe and i plan on making new videos very often not like shane dawson every day often but up there you know like every other day, every couple days, I don't know. So, thank you. Until next time. Bye, guys.